Uh, thank you very much, Governor, the Deputy Principal, members of the teaching staff, members of the Board of Management, the leaders present here, uh, boys of Kapsabet Boys and the School Fraternity, good morning. God is good. And all the time, I've come here this morning on behalf of President William Ruto and alumni of this great prestigious institution of his own kind to bring his condolences and that of the government of the Republic of Kenya. And I too and my family, I want to come and say pole to the school fraternity for the loss of your teacher and one student. And again, for those who have suffered injuries, I am very encouraged that those at uh, the Doret Hospital are making good progress and uh, we have been assured that uh, they are out of danger and we are sure that they will be back to school. The ones who are in Baringo have also been attended and we are very optimistic that later in the day they should be able to join you. So we have come here as a government on behalf of the president to say pole. That is a very big blow to this institution. Losing a life of a teacher, a student, is a very heavy thing, especially for a family like this one, because you are one great family. And uh, I want to bring the sympathies of the president and all of us, and to say that we are praying for you, for God to give you strength, to give you fortitude, to come to terms with the sad reality of losing a teacher who has been dear to you, of losing a student who is one of you, and uh, we trust that uh, our prayers uh, will be heard by God to give you that strength. So we just came to register our comradeship and togetherness with you at this very, very difficult time. And uh, we know that uh, God will take care of you and uh, you will be able to hold. And uh, even as we prepare, to bury the teacher and the student, we shall give the support that is required. We continue to hold you in prayer so that you can be able to go through that very difficult stage. Uh, over and above that, it's a very great institution. It's an institution that has produced great people. <coughs> President William Ruto is an alumni of this institution. And that is a clear testimony of the kind of boys that have gone through this institution and that have been mentored in this institution. I therefore want to encourage you to work hard, to stay focused, and to tell you that the future is bright. As long as you are focused, all of you, through this great institution that has produced many great minds, including our peers here and others, that you too will have your day to be a man of substance to come and join us in national development, to come and join us in building the nation, to take care of yourself, to take care of your families, and to take care of society. So mine is to encourage you to continue working hard, to continue being focused, and to have an ambition that one day you stand where I'm standing, in a big position. You'll be captains of industry, you'll be great professionals, you'll be lawyers, you'll be doctors, you'll be engineers. And I want to say that you are in the right place because this institution is already tested. It has mentored many boys and they have become great people. So this is your opportunity too to be somebody in life. So you as is just to stay focused. I've been told about the bus that has been written off and uh, I want to give a commitment on behalf of President William Ruto. I'll talk to him later in the day and I'm sure there is no doubt that the president will give you another bus to replace that one so that you are able to <laughs> you are able to continue with your tours across the country again we take this opportunity to appeal to our drivers and other road users to exercise care and vigilance on our roads and more so those who drive our buses for schools. These are precious jewels for our country. Our young people are the future of this country. 
So when we drive them around, we must remain a lot that we carry the future of this great republic. So we continue to urge for a lot of care among our motorists on our roads to drive at the right speed, to drive in the right way, so that we take care of the lives that we carry and we make sure that we don't lose more Kenyans uh, through road carnage. That is a message that I thought is important to give us uh, we could all with you as we mourn our teacher, as we mourn our student, as we come to encourage you to be strong, as we come to pray for you, as we continue to urge you to move on despite what has happened because life must go on. So, mimi sitaki nisidishe kutoka hapo, yetu ni kusema pole once more, and uh, to wish you uh, God's guidance and his mercy as you mourn your colleague, as you mourn your teacher, as you encourage back the ones who come who are injured and integrate them back to the school uh, fraternity so that we are able to move on and move on and move on. Kwa hayo mengi, nimeshukuru sana. Mungu wa bariki. Thank you very much. Asante ni sana.